This video is about PNB Rock. I never knew about him before he got killed. Never heard his music. Never saw a music video. I never knew about him. So this is my first time, you know, actually even hearing him speak anything, man. I switched my surroundings and I switched the people that I was fucking with, and and my life changed. You feel me, like real nigga shit. Like I'm, don't don't be stuck in that. You gotta ride for the niggas that you grew up with and all of that shit because, hey, bro. Man. Them same niggas will be the same niggas that sit there and let you be in jail and don't write you, don't make sure your people's cool. Like, you fuck around and die, they won't got no bread for your funeral tape. And these fools out here that y'all calling gang gang and y'all thinking y'all cool, y'all thinking these dudes gonna ride for you. Man, these fools, bro, they will watch you die. They will watch you starve to death out here. You gotta change your surroundings. You gotta change your mindset because you gotta understand this culture that we belong to, this shit toxic, bro. Don't nobody care about nobody in this culture, bro. Hey, shit, you feel me? But so, you can't really say I'm a ride or die nigga until the end because like, this is a different type of generation where so different. niggas ain't got that loyalty in them like you Hell think they're nah. supposed to have and shit. Hell nah. Just focus on you, bro, because when you ain't got shit, you really like, niggas don't really get a fuck. Like when you do got some shit though, like that's when you see like, they Niggas in. be trying to be with you because you beneficial. beneficial. I switched my surroundings and I switched the people that I was fucking with, and and I, my life changed. You feel me? Like real nigga shit. Like there's some real shit that he said in the beginning, specifically though. Or I was on the wrong path. I was headed down a path of destruction, man. Death and destruction. It was about to be sad for me, man. I was gonna end up in jail or dead. I was gonna commit murders, all that, until I changed my surroundings. I came back. I came to Montgomery from Selma. And I changed the music I listened to, changed the company I hang around. And ever since then, it's like I've been elevating slowly, but I've been elevating. You know, I've been making progress. Day by day, I've been making progress to change and transform my character. Hell, that's how I came up with the book, Leaving the Past, a Remedy to the Prison. I had to lead the past. I had to lead my past environments. I love my past friendships, everything, man. I had to change so much, man. And it was hard. It was hard to do that, and it will be hard to do that, but it's a necessary step that you got to take if you really want to live, man, if you want to live a life worth living. You see how he, he got his life cut short because he's still moving as if the other world don't exist. When you separate yourself from that lifestyle, you got to separate from it completely. What you should have did was moved into a city well, you know it's low crime, far away from some L.A. gangbangers. You should be dealing with women that, that you know wouldn't have ties to, to L.A. gangbangers or any type of gangbangers or drug dealers. Deal with wholesome women, you feel me? Have wholesome friends. That's the whole part of leaving the past and changing. You got to really transform yourself, man, the whole way around or it won't work. It's just going to fire off in your face. All you did was let your own guard down. You tell yourself you made it now, you got money. You know, you think you can just go out to eat and do things in these environments close to super predators. <laughs> they on the prowl, man. They know that people like you exist and they looking for you. They know you exist. They know you think you made it. You can let your guard down. People like you, you perfect for that trap. Like a rat trap. They snap down on you. So, yeah, man, life is different when you coming from the bottom. You can't just come from the bottom, get some money, and still prance around the bottom or close to the bottom like everything good, you're going to be a lick. You got to fully change and transform everything about yourself, man. Or at least move yourself far away from the bullshit. <laughs> Look at Nilsa Hulsa, man. My guy, he still wanted to be on the block. And you see what happened? All that he went through, all that he did, all, all that change and transformation that he went through in his life, it don't mean nothing if you still prancing around like shit sweet, man. I don't understand the mindset of, you want people where you from to see you and be motivated. Yeah, they're going to they get motivated to kill you, to rob you, to take away from you, man. Take your chains, take your life. It don't matter. But yeah, man, he most definitely was a real one judging by what he said in this interview right here. Rest in peace to him. It's sad, man. It's sad. You got to leave the past, man. And if you need help leaving the past... If you need guidance in how to separate yourself from certain environments, certain mindsets, and from certain things, the link is in the description. Go grab that book, Leaving the Past, a Remedy to Depression. It's more than about depression. It's about a lot of things. It's about your mindset. It's about the music you listen to. It's about programming, everything, man. And plus, if you buy the book, 
you will be automatically entered into a raffle to win fifty dollars, man. So it's a win win. But like I say, all you gotta do is for one buy the book, two leave a review, most definitely do that, and leave a rating. Most definitely do that. Well, I don't even really care too much about the review. Just make sure you leave a rating, you feel me? Leave me four or five stars, it don't matter. But yeah, that's it for the vid, man. Peace. <laughs>